Oh, CD. Oh, seaweed. The, mu the music it's ridiculously loud okay new gay oh, i'm so excited okay i'm female my name is what <laughs> my name is nespa oh no nespa uh oh what should the farm be named what's me with bubble i feel like that uh my favorite thing such an old joke oh my god let's go with let's go with the gray kitty super cute um hair style oh my god i like this one that one's cute okay she's a shirt color of everything i leave the eyes brown um uh, hair color do i want like like a blue hair you know what i think i'm gonna leave that brown too try and match it to my minecraft skin a little just got like lighter brown hair i think or like a dusty color yeah I'll that. um and we'll watch the intro. Uh, ooh, farm. What farm should we go on? I think maybe we should go on the standard farm for this one. Oh, but I don't... I really want to choose, like, a cool farm. Because the standard farm, like, it's basic, but, like, we could have, like, a cool... We could have a cooler farm. Like, I really love the forest farm and the hilltop farm. And the wilderness farm. Let's go with, between these three. I think I'm gonna go with the forest farm. I think that's my favorite. Um. Yeah. Let's. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. I'm gonna turn the music back on. Let's get ready. And for my very special granddaughter. sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, we'll be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. How many years later is that? Ten? Maybe not. Oh, 
you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what really mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Bubble Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place for, to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Louis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Stardew Valley, 0.5 miles. Bird! Hello! <laughs> Hello, you must be Nespaw. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you your way to, the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you follow me. Oop, off we go. Oh, yay! <laughs> this is Bubble Farm. <laughs> Yikes. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, I'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Lewis! Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more appropriate, though. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Nespa. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. <laughs> My first day at Stardew Valley. Oh, oh no, my music's not is it? Uh, oh, no, it is. Yes, lovely. All right. Parsnips. I do some parsnips and we gotta go greet some people, so let's get that done. The crops are planted! Lovely. Let's go clear up just a bit of the farm. And then we can go around town and meet some people. things for the community center. Um, get that done as fast as we can, I guess. Hobby! Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. 
I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Vincent! Oh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Thanks, Vincent. I love Vincent. He's so sweet. Jody! Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around would really change things. Caroline! Hello, you must be Nespaw, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the one, she's the pale one with purple hair. <gasps> Evelyn, Granny. And here's Maru. And I'll check out Pierre's and such. The calendar of the birthdays. Here's Leah. Yeah, I have to go behind the counter and meet you. Thanks, Pierre. Um. For anything, I should probably get a bean starter. Sebastian's probably he may be out on the lake, so let's go check. Um, nope. Oh, yes, Sebastian. There you are. And everybody else is probably asleep. Oh, Linus, he might be awake. Also. Ah, there you are. Okay. Good night. Yay, level one foraging! Alright. It's a new day. A new dawn. Uh, hello there. I just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willy! Yay. I like Willy. Alright. Water some crops and go meet some people. We could also probably do a bit more farm clearing. It's a geode! Kind of geode, the local blacksmith, bla uh, bla blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside. One quartz. Um, you know what, we'll take it. Let's hope we can get into the mine soon enough. Willie, I'm coming! Fishing rod. You received a bamboo pole. <laughs> All right, we can fish now. Should we catch one? Let's catch one. Fishing time. Hey, we got a herring. All right, to the museum. Finally. Hi, Sam. Hi, Evelyn. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. We'll fish right next to Pam's place. Just to be annoying. Yay! Yay! Smallmouth bass. Oh, and it wasn't even a fish. Did I pay that draft for it? Smallmouth bass in the bin. Driftwood in the chest. And time to take a rest. Alright. Day three! It's raining! Woo! Okay, that's cool. We need that. That's why I don't got a water stuff. Flint! It's not my bud. It so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Ho 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 go. Probably do a lot of fishing today. Fishing time! Session for the day. All right. Good night. We'll do. Get some foraging done today. Clinton's uh, four. All right. What's going on up here? Linus. How are we, my good friend? Look, the library's collection has expanded. Fishing montage time. <gasps> There's a fishing thing over there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, CD. 
Ah, oh, seaweed. Parsnips. Yay! We achieved things today. I'm gonna say goodnight and say goodbye because this is the end. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna need to make one of those. This is the. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be the end of our first episode of this new series. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all very, very soon. Goodbye!